Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Partner Spark. Today we're talking about VPN routers. Why would you want a VPN router? Why did you need one? Well, VPN routers are great if you want to have uh, your VPN across your entire house. If you don't want to connect to it on every device. They're good also if you want like kind of a permanent security solution. So if you want your VPN always on, uh, you don't worry, have to worry about the application disconnecting or something like that. They're really good for that. Um, but anyways, if you guys want a VPN router, you can also use them to unblock geo restrictions on Netflix. Um, if you have a PS4 or an Xbox or come some kind of streaming device where VPN is not going to be able to work on it too well, um, VPN routers are good for that. Um, we could talk all day about how many things you could do with a VPN router, but some of the main things are just those geo restrictions, uh, getting around those on streaming devices, having housewide encryption is really useful. Um, not only that, but you could use a VPN routers on the go. Uh, if you're in a hotel or something like that, you can kind of rig up a solution to have encryption on the go um, easily for everyone to connect to it if you want to do that to protect um, your Wi-Fi hotspots. But they're pretty cool indeed. Um, as you can see here from me, I really like my, my VPN routers. Here we got the Asus 3100. This is a beefy, beefy boy. This is an Asus gaming router. This thing is really cool. We also got the Linksys here. This is a really sweet uh, budget kind of gaming router. This is the WRT32X. Pretty cool router here. This one is probably my favorite. It's a GLI Shadow um, AR router. Um, this one is really cool. It has 2G and 5G um, on it. And it's pretty powerful for how small it is. It's really portable. This is the AR750S has those antennas, uh, the other one did not have that. So we have a, a good amount of routers here, guys. So you might be wondering now, well, where should I buy a VPN router? How do I even set one up? Well, it can be a little bit complicated to figure that out. So let's go ahead and discuss that right now. All right, so if you guys are wondering, you know, how to get a VPN router, um, well, there are a couple different ways you can go about it. Um, I think the easiest way is probably to get a router uh, from uh, Amazon. Uh, you can get a router from Amazon as long as you purchase the right one that has the ability to just um, import OpenVPN configs into the interface already. Um, so we can see this with a uh, some Asus routers, some GLI routers and stuff like that. Um, the problem is a lot of people who are concerned about anonymity and privacy, um, they don't want to be using these routers configurations like that. Um, the routers software to be using VPN because a lot of these companies are based in China and a lot of people do have suspicions about using these kind of Chinese products uh, with uh, something like VPN. So what a lot of people do is instead they use open source software like Tomato, OpenWRT, uh, DDWRT. Now these are open source design softwares uh, for VPN. And what you can do is put this software on a, a VPN router or it's not even a VPN router at that point, uh, a normal router, and then you can flash it with these open source softwares. Now these softwares are very secure and open source, like I said, so the code is very transparent and stuff like that. And there are a lot of cool security features and stuff you can configure with DWRT, man, that is a mouthful, um, that you can do with uh, kind of the other configurations. So in a lot of ways, you kind of have two options. You can just kind of um, say fuck it and go with uh, an Amazon bot router, kind of use the VPN configuration that way. Just import the configs and hope you're good to go. Or if you want to use DWRT or these kind of uh, custom kind of more open source solutions, which a lot of people think is the most secure way, you can either buy a router from Amazon or something like that and flash it yourself. Now this is a bit confusing and you have to find the right firmware and stuff like that. There is a possibility of breaking your router. So if you don't really want to do that, you have another option, which is to buy a pre-flashed uh, VPN router. So there are a couple options on where you can do this. Now, today I'm just going to be talking about two different options. So first up, we have a new website called Private Router, and then we have a website called FlashRouters.com. Now, Private Router is a new company or kind of a new subset of Torgor VPN. They used to sell routers on their website and now they've kind of developed this new kind of website. Not really sure why, but whatever. They have a new website for it uh, instead of just you know selling it on TorGuard's kind of router page. And then we have Flash Routers, of course. So what is the difference between these two websites? Which one should you use for each purpose? Well, Private Router, I think, is really good if you want to go the TorGuard route. Uh, TorGuard is my top rated VPN. It is extremely affordable, has really good speeds, probably the best VPN for unblocking geo restrictions. So this is a really good uh, 
solution to go for the router if you want to use TorGuard. Um, another couple benefit here is that they do have uh, free shipping right now, um, and they do have a free month with TorGuard VPN if you purchase one of these routers. So this is a really good option here. Now, Flash Routers is a much bigger company, a much bigger website. And what this is here, um, where you are gonna get more of an expensive experience when you buy a router on this page. Um, but the thing about these routers that is cool is that you can pretty much use them with most of the VPNs. Uh, it's not sold from a specific VPN provider like private routers would be. So this service is gonna be more of a router seller. Uh, so they're more not affiliated with any uh, specific VPN or anything like that. So you could go ahead and buy a router here and then kind of configure it with a VPN that you want. Um, but of course, like I said, it, the prices on this website do seem a little bit more expensive than private router and they don't have free shipping. And of course, you're gonna have to pick a VPN here to use. Not only that, but some of these VPNs might not be the best VPNs. Hide my ass, and not very recommended. A lot of these VPNs like PeerVPN um, have questionable relations to other VPNs. Um, like CyberGhost and stuff like that, which I don't really recommend, but there you go. So this is also an option if you wanna use one of these VPN providers, and if you wanna just buy it from here as a bigger website. But those are pretty much the two options for you guys to buy uh, VPN routers. There are, are other websites out there, don't mistake me, but these two seem to be a good uh, selection of options uh, for you to choose from. If you wanna buy a router, uh, check the links down in the description down below for these websites. Um, there you go guys. Let me know if you have any comments about VPN routers. This was just a short rundown on some of the benefits and why you should be using VPN router as well as how to check them out and how to decide to get one. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.